Hey guys, what's up? It's Julia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my incredibly excessive Playbill collection. I have seen a lot of shows in my 17 years on this planet and Playbills are the only thing that I really collect. So, I have, I was just realizing today how many Playbills I have, it's a little absurd, but this is my Playbill collection and it's kind of a lot. All of these Playbills are either from Broadway shows, I've seen, I counted the other day, I think I've seen 11 Broadway shows in my entire life. So they're either from Broadway shows, tours, regional shows, community theater shows, and then like dance recitals or other just performances. Um, some of these playbills are shows that I've been in. So what I'm gonna do is just go through each playbill and just kind of like talk about the show if I remember it. I saw some of these shows years and years and years ago, so I don't remember them. Okay, here we go. The first playbill I have is from The Addams Family. I saw this show very recently, just the other week, and it was at a community theater, and I had never seen the show before. I'd only known Pulled, which is like the most popular song from it, but it was so funny and so good, and I am shocked that it's taken me 17 years to see the show because it's a very popular show, and yeah, I was so blown away. I thought it was so good. Okie doke. Oh, this is from Thoroughly Modern Millie. That was another show that I was so surprised by how much I loved it. Um, I know some of the main songs like Gimme Gimme and Not For The Life Of Me, but I really, really enjoyed Thirly Mod and Millie and that is definitely one of my dream shows to be in. Grease, which I saw at a community theater two years ago? I can't remember. Footloose, which I also saw at a community theater. Footloose was actually one of the first shows that I was in when I was super young and just kind of like doing theater as like an after school activity. I think I was like maybe eight or nine and I did it in a summer camp and I can't remember what I was in Footloose. I feel like I was, I have actually no idea. All Shook Up. I saw this show, I want to say the other year and I loved it. It is such a fun show. It's not as popular, but if you get a chance to see it, it's just so much fun. Next to Normal, I saw this at a community theater, and it is very, very sad. If you know the story, you understand why. But, um, yeah, it's just a really sad story. And I like, well, okay, I was gonna say I like uplifting shows, but one of my favorite shows is Miss Saigon, and that's not uplifting uh, in the slightest. So, yeah, the show is just so, like, emotionally jerking, but that's good, too. Pippin. Freaky Friday. This is a really, really fun show. The Little Prince. This is actually a play that I saw my friends in. I don't see many plays. I don't do many plays. The last play that I was in, I must have been like 11 or 12. I really would like to see more plays. Plays are really important and just as magical as musicals. So I need to see more plays. Put that on my to-do list. Okay, this is Beauty and the Beast. I don't remember, was I in this? Oh, I was in this. Oh my gosh, I was a fetus. Where am I? Oh my, oh my gosh. I played Babette in Beauty and the Beast at like a summer camp a few years back. And uh, I was 13, well not a few years back, I was 13. But I, um, yeah, braces and the whole deal going on. Beetlejuice. I was in New York the other month, I did vlog, and I, it's one of my favorite vlogs, so definitely go check that out if you haven't already, after you finish this video. But Beetlejuice is probably one of my favorite shows I've ever seen, like in my life. I enjoyed it so much, I've said this before, but Alex Brightman is just, the world does not deserve him. He is so incredible, but everyone was so talented, and I I am so obsessed with the soundtrack. I listen to it just about every day. Uh, Billy Elliot I saw at a community theater, and it was very good. Another Grease. This is a dance recital. Hairspray, that's a fun show. I really liked Hairspray Live. 
another Grease, Susical. Susical was another one of my first shows back when I was starting out. That's a really fun show. Another Beauty and the Beast. This time my friends were in. Oh, Miss Saigon. I saw Miss Saigon at the Pantages. My friend actually gave my mom and I tickets, which was so sweet. And I had heard of the show before, but I didn't know what it was about or I didn't really know any of the music. And I like still to this day thinking about it, I am like, oh, it is so good. I was sitting in the audience of Miss Saigon watching the show and I had that feeling like, okay, if you do musical theater or really if you do anything that makes you just like so happy and you have found something that you're so passionate about and you like will have those moments where it like reminds you why you do what you do. When I was watching Miss Saigon at the Pantages, I had that moment of like, this is why I do theater because the story is so powerful and the tour, they did such an incredible job. It was my first time seeing the show, so I had nothing to compare it to, but oh my gosh. I don't know if I'd want to see it again because it was so powerful and moving and it's just a really hard show to watch because of the content and what it's about. But uh, yeah, I'm still blown away and just mesmerized by that show. West Side Story, which I saw at a regional theater. Newsies, I believe I saw this on Broadway. Wait, yeah, this is Broadway. This was the second show that I ever saw on Broadway. It was so long ago, I just don't remember. I would love to see it again because I was, I don't know, eight, so I really don't remember. This is from Come From Away. And I saw this on Broadway and it was amazing. It was probably one of the cleanest shows I've ever seen. And I mean clean by, like, everybody was so... Okay, I don't know how to describe clean, but there were no mistakes. Everyone was so perfect on your feet i saw this at the pantages uh last year i think i actually this was in one of my vlogs the vlog where uh, yeah i think i made a vlog about seeing on your feet but this is a really fun show too beautiful i don't know if this was from broadway or because i saw wait no what am i saying i saw it on the tour on my 15th birthday i was in florida with my grandparents and I got to see the National Tour of Beautiful. Oh, and Bailey wants to go out. School of Rock. I loved this show. Again, Alex Brightman was Dewey, and he's amazing. And so I saw him in School of Rock, and I was so excited to see him in Beetlejuice because I loved him from School of Rock. At the time, when I saw it, I was around the ages of the kids in the show, so it was just so cool for me to see a ton of kids my age on Broadway killing it. So that's what I loved about School of Rock, but it's just such a great show. Wicked. Fun fact, Wicked is the first show I ever saw on Broadway at the Gershwin Theater. I don't remember anything because I think I was seven or eight, but I'm sure it was amazing because it's Wicked. Let me see. Waitress. So I actually saw Waitress on Broadway and then again at the Pantages. I saw the Broadway production and then the tour and I loved it. Waitress was another one of those shows where I was sitting in the audience thinking about like okay this is why I do theater because again the story is powerful. It's a different kind of powerful than Miss Saigon. If you know the shows you know what I mean but it's still a very powerful moving story and yet everyone leaves the theater feeling happy and uplifted. So it's not like reading the news and hearing about sad stories and just feeling sad, like seeing a show and just being in a theater and getting to experience live theater, you could still learn about history or learn like a very valuable lesson, but in an uplifting way. Okay, Matilda, I saw Matilda on Broadway. Okay, Head Over Heels, Head Over Heels, I went into knowing nothing about, I had never heard of the show and it was probably one of the most fun experiences I've had seeing a show. It's not on Broadway anymore, and I don't know if they're doing it regionally or if it's touring. I don't think so. But it is so funny, and uh, the singing is crazy. Everyone was so good. And I think that was also in one of my vlogs, not from this most recent New York trip, but it's in my New York vlog from the other year. I'll link it down below. But yeah, Head Over Heels was a surprise because I had no idea what it was about. And it's so good. The music is from the Go-Go Dolls. 
Hamilton I saw at the Pantages for my 16th birthday. I went with my grandma and Hamilton is one of those shows where the hype is so overwhelming. You're like, okay, it can't actually be that good. But then you see it and you're like, wait, it actually is that good. Just genius. I've been saying every show is so good because I love every show. Well, not every show, but all the shows that I've named I love. Okay, In the Heights. In the Heights is one of my all-time favorite shows. One of my all-time favorite soundtracks, definitely. I've never been in it, but that's definitely a dream show. Beauty and the Beast. I've seen so many Beauty and the Beast. And I've been in the show like twice or three times. Children of Eden. Children of Eden, oh, not Little Mermaid, Children of Eden, is such a special show to me because it was my first professional production that I was in. And I was actually listening to the soundtrack the other day. I think the soundtrack is so underrated and so beautiful. And I, yeah, this show was just like really life changing personally. And I will always treasure this one. Come From Away, I only saw it once. I guess I just have more than one playbill for it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like I've been talking forever and we still have all of these. Okay, I'll be quick. Sister Act, super fun show. I love the Raise Your Voice number, that's so much fun. Meet Me in St. Louis, I saw a very long time ago, so I don't really remember it. Peter Pan, super fun. Another Shrek. My Fair Lady. I saw this one with my grandma a year ago, or yeah, a few years ago. James and the Giant Peach, Alice in Wonderland, another Shrek, Bye Bye Birdie, another Mary Poppins, <laughs> Memphis. Yeah. Memphis is one of my favorite shows of all time because it was the first show that I had ever seen where I had that moment in the audience, like I was saying before of remembering why I do theater and why I love it so much. Memphis was probably one of the first shows that I saw with a really, really current, deep political message. So it took theater for me to a whole new level. Realizing that it can tell such powerful stories was just amazing. Like I just thought it was so magical. Matilda, I was in this production and this is actually the most recent show I've done. I vlogged at Matilda, so definitely go check that out. It'll be linked in the description. I had so much fun in this show. My track was just so much fun. And it was one of those shows where I was like, okay, I, I feel like I could do this for a very long time and not get sick of it. Because the show is just so special and Revolting Children is like, such a fun number. So if you ever get a chance to be in Matilda, I would say go for it because it's just such a great show. Ben! I'm filming a video! Okay. I saw one of my friends from Matilda in Secret Garden, Glory. She played, what's the main character? Mary? Yeah, Mary. She played Mary and I saw it at a regional theater about like an hour and a half from my house and it was amazing. Love it. Avita. Very, very good. Another program from Matilda. Memphis again. The Little Mermaid. I was in this production of The Little Mermaid. This was also a very, very special show to me. And I think I've done this show, I feel like I've done it a number of times. Let me see, oh, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. I was in this production and it was a lot of fun. That Mega Mix at the end is a nine minute number and it will kick your butt. Another Little Mermaid dance recital. My son, Pinocchio Jr. I've been in this show three times. Annie. That was fun. Another My Son, Pinocchio Jr. Uh, Madagascar, which I saw. 13 the Musical. I was actually in 13. Not this production, a different production, but I don't have the program for it. This program is from the Hollywood Bowl. I saw Mamma Mia at the Hollywood Bowl, and then I also saw Into the Woods there this past year, where I got to meet my queen, Yael Groblast from Jane the Virgin, and it was the happiest moment of my life. Anyways, this program is from Mamma Mia, where I saw Jaime Camille. Obviously, I love Jane the Virgin, because there's a trend there. And I got to see my friend Rod in it. All right, let's see, another Little Mermaid. This 
is from, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Cirque show that I saw in Las Vegas this year. That was cool. I've never seen a Cirque, what? I've never seen a Cirque show before that. This is from Mean Girls. I saw it on my New York trip this past year and I got to see Renee Rapp as Regina George and I kind of want to quit <laughs> because she's phenomenal. Um, I saw Dear Evan Hansen and that was also really, really good. Up, oh, another program for Beetlejuice. And you've probably noticed that I make notes on the program because sometimes I see understudies, so I like to write who I saw. Like I saw Dana Steingold as Lydia, not the original, um, but she was amazing. And I wrote Alex Brightman isn't human, just in case I forgot. <laughs> Something Rotten, my mom and I saw a few weeks ago, and it is such a funny, uplifting, just feel good show. So, and it makes like over 100 references to other shows in it. So if you're like a theater kid, it's even better because you can get all the references. And last but not least, Hades Town. I saw Hades Town in my New York vlog from this past year, so I'll link that down below. But I got to see my queen, Eva Noblezada. She is one of my biggest theater inspirations, and getting to see her perform live was surreal. She's beyond talented. Everyone in that show is just really, really special. It's a really, really well done show. I didn't pick up all of the story because I'm not very knowledgeable on Greek mythology, but I would love to do my research and then see it again so I could understand more of the subtleties. Aside from that, it was amazing. Okay, that concludes my Playbill collection. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how many I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and maybe you learned about a new show today. Make sure to subscribe and comment down below your favorite musical theater show you've ever seen. Bye. <laughs> Did I'm